Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 767 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I have another Wet n Wild product to try out. This is the Ultimate Brow Mascara. Bow to the brow. <laughs> and I got this in the shade Blonder Over Yonder. <laughs> Funny name. So this is, of course, cruelty free very affordable it costs $4.99 it comes in only three shades but hopefully this blonde shade will be a good match for me paraben sulfate and gluten free it's supposed to instantly fill in brows and hold them in place for perfect definition and it's supposed to dry down to a powder which sounds interesting hopefully it doesn't get like flaky and weird, <laughs> but it also includes soy proteins and D-panthenol, don't know what that is, <laughs> to help promote healthy brow hair. So I love when products have extra little beneficial ingredients. So right now I have nothing on my brows, but I'm wanting to try this alone and on top of my brow pencil, but first I'm going to try it out on its own so okay somewhat of a large wand for brows but I do like that it gets skinnier at the top so that can be more precise so I'm gonna start out it says to brush through the brows in the direction of your natural arch and to use small quick brush strokes. Wow. This is definitely making a difference already in the volume of my brows and how it's really helping to fill it in. Whoa, look at that difference. And I actually love this color. A perfect shade match that is the right tone for my brow hairs it's not too red it's cool toned enough and it's dark enough but not too dark but I will say I don't want to add too much because since it does kind of dry down to that powder formula it's starting to flake a bit if I keep touching it so I'm gonna Keep that in mind when I apply this but it's like I just am so tempted to keep touching my brow but every time I do it just flakes some more but that seriously looks so good when it's not <laughs> flaking it really looks so natural like as if there wasn't a product in my brows and this is just how full my natural brows are but clearly it's not look at that difference and this applicator is actually very easy to use. Sometimes the large like brushes, wands for brows can be difficult to get precise enough for your brow shape, but this was actually really easy to use. So it definitely made a difference in my brows. Like if you have a good natural shape to your brow, this is all you need because it helps fill in any bare or sparse areas. It adds a little bit of color, but all in all, it still looks very natural, which I think is a good thing. I'm curious. Huh. That's not super holding the brow hairs in place. Like I have very long brow hairs that can get very messed up. It's not a super, super strong hold, which I'm not very surprised by because if it's going to dry down to a powder, I don't really expect a powder to be a super strong hold. So I almost wish it was just like a gel formula because then if it's powdery, it'll kind of crumble up. But I guess it looks more natural with the powder finish. But I think I would prefer, like, I don't mind a crunchy brow that much as long as it's keeping the brow hairs in place. So this kind of has hold but it does not take much to mess the brows up. 
But now on the other brow, I wanna see how this looks on top of my brow pencil. So I'm just using my brow pencil that I've been using on a daily basis. This is from the brand Most Story. This is from Amazon and I love it. I already did a full dedicated review video on this brow pencil. So I will have that linked down below if you want to see it but I just love how this brow pencil looks, how it applies, the color. So when I use a brow pencil, I can perfect the shape of my brow more so than when I'm just using the brow gel because I don't have a naturally perfect brow shape. I need to do that with a pencil, but you could definitely skip this pencil step if you have the brow shape already that you desire. But you saw it, it's really quick and easy for me to fill in my brows and get that desired shape because the difference, it's just really in the front of my brows, that's where I really focus on getting enough shape and fill. So like the difference with more of like a squared off center versus my natural brow. And now I'm going to apply the Wet n Wild Brow Gel on top of this. Let's see how it does. This wand is really good at getting all of the brow hairs. <laughs> wow, that is a big difference between the brows. I think this brow with the pencil underneath does look darker, but I think it's still a color that can work for me because I have so many different <laughs> shades in my hair. They say to match your brows to the darkest shade in your hair, so I think this would still match my hair enough that it can look natural. But they are a really good combo together. It looks good, like it looks natural. Like it looks like full brow hairs. It doesn't look like product drawn into my brows. So I can even show you a zoomed in view so that you can see how the brow looks up close, that it looks like natural brow hair. And that's my goal with my brows. I want it to look like real brow hair. I don't want it to look just like a drawn on shape of product, if that makes any sense. But this brow gel does a good job of really emphasizing the hairs, adding volume to the hairs so that it fills in my brows more. So I am really happy with this, especially for $4.99, because there are some really great but expensive brow products out there, like the Anastasia Beverly Hill brow products that I love, like the pencil and the clear brow gel. But when this $5 brow gel gives me the brows that I want, then this is an option that I'm definitely going to reach for and purchase. Now that it's been a little bit longer, like there is hold to the brows and maybe actually more hold now that it's been longer on my brows. Like they're not budging as much. So that's good. It actually is giving me more hold than I was expecting because I definitely need that hold on my brows. <laughs> and I'm very particular about my brows and my brow products but this gets my approval. I'm definitely going to start using this because I've been needing a new brow gel and this will definitely become my daily brow gel. I would love to get some recommendations though in the comments down below of what your favorite brow gels are because I am going to continue this search and trying out more brow gels. So I'd really like to get some good recommendations. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.